Hello, this is Terry at Heavy Duty Power Train. And uh, today I want to talk about cooler plates, ECM cooler plates. And this is a uh, typical cooler plate. On that note, they do make uh, two cooler plates. And uh, not quite what you might think. Usually uh, there's a difference between select and select plus, but on cooler plates, difference is N14 select and select plus all take one cooler plate, and L10 and M11 select and select plus all take another cooler plate. You'll find them both on N14parts.com. They run around 300 bucks, and uh, new ones around seven. And these are uh, taken apart and cleaned and uh, sandblasted. Threads are all checked. And uh, as you notice, these are about a half inch thick. And uh, a bad one will be swelled up in the bottom and top of it here and uh, when that happens you got big problems inside of them that can cause uh, fuel problems and uh, sucking air and and uh, it, uh, uh, has a way of uh, making your fuel all disorientated you might say inside uh, between here and coming in and going out and and uh, I've had guys even tell me that uh, it's uh, caused surging and uh, even uh, acting like the engine's missing and what have you. On that note, these cooler plates usually come from the factory, the manufacturer, and he adds a check valve on them. Usually it's in between the... Uh, the check valve is monitored between here and your injector pump. And um, on this side, usually you have your primary filter or some type of a trash filter before this uh, fuel gets to the cooler plate. So you don't end up with all this garbage in here. So it's just another example of, of uh, what can happen when, uh, you know, a truck is uh, in the hands of many different people or sold over and over. So when you get it, you know, you may want to double check everything. And uh, I get a truck to do a good video on. I plan on going through uh, many, many things to check, not just the electrical, but the cooler plate. <laughs> Seems simple enough. How could that cause any problems? Right. <laughs> okay. We'll start off 2015 in October here. I'm going to try to kind of refresh and renew the videos and go over them and, uh, and uh, get some fresh ones out there for you. Appreciate all your business and... Uh, and uh, the website is www.n14parts.com. Uh, email address is terry at n14parts.com. If you want to text me, it's 727-494-5514. Our landline is 810-787. Whoop, excuse me, 810-653. 6300 and uh, and I'm pretty good at texting now I'm catching up with everybody I was a slow beginner but uh, again at 727 494 take care and have a great day see ya